everyone. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to clear dependent drop-down list cell after selection changed with VBA code. For a dependent drop-down list, when the value of the parent drop-down list is changed, the selected value in the second one will be invalid. You have to manually remove the invalid value from the second drop-down list after selection changed in the first one. First, let's create a, a parent drop-down list. We'll select three cells for the three uh, column titles and click the data tab in the data tools group click the data validation drop down list and select data validation in the settings tab uh, select the list uh, from the allow drop down list and click this button to select your data source select cells a1 to c1 press enter click the ok button as you can see the parent drop down list has been created Next, we will create the dependent drop-down list. In the first cell, uh, we will create a dependent drop-down list for the T column. Click the data validation drop-down list, select data validation. Choose list from the allow drop-down and click this button to select the data source for T. Press enter, click the OK button. Do the same for uh, the juice uh, column data validation list select your data source for juice press enter click the ok button repeat the same steps uh, for the coffee column data validation list select your data source for coffee press enter click the ok button as you can see the dependent drop-down list is uh, created but if you change the value in the parent drop-down list you can see the value in the uh, dependent drop-down list remains unchanged and this uh, value is uh, invalid so we will uh, use a VBA code to, to clear the data from the dependent drop-down list when the value in the parent drop-down list is changed right click on the sheet tab that contains the dependent drop-down list Click the view code and paste the following VB code into the module window. Uh, press the Alt Q keys to close the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. And from now on, when changes made to the parent drop down list, contents of the second drop down list will be changed automatically. As you can see, it has been changed to uh, blank or it's cleared automatically thanks for watching and uh, please do not forget that the link to the vb code is provided in the video's description and please subscribe for more videos